Koppersan, Hey YouTube, Koppersan here. Support classes are the backbone of all party content in MapleStory. So today I want to put the spotlight on some of these classes that are useful to take with you in boss fights. Or play yourself if you want to support your party members. There are a lot of classes that can offer support in different ways. Some provide buffs, others provide heals and shields, and others provide debuffs. Well, there are a few classes that specialize in support. There also are quite a few classes that aren't really support classes, not true support classes. But they do have some very beneficial party skills. So in this video I'll go over all these types of classes starting out with the not really support classes but they can provide some pretty useful buffs type of classes. So if you prefer to be a damage dealer but also want to have some party value there are quite a few classes that can provide at least one or two powerful party buffs. A good example of such a class would be the wild hunter. This class has a second job skill called call of the wild that increases all party members attack and magic attack by a whooping 10%. That's a pretty powerful buff to get. Or what about Blaze Wizard? This fire juggler has a very powerful buff called Burning Conduit. This zone increases party members damage by a massive 60% and also attack speed by one stage for all party members who are in the zone. A very powerful buff, but uh, yeah, good luck finding a Blaze Wizard to party with in the first place. And of course there also are also classes like Buccaneer and Xenon who can use their skills to reset the cooldowns of the skills of their party members. If we crank things up a notch to the bit more supportive but still not really supportive classes area, you get classes like Mechanic. This class has a supportive robot summon called Support Unit Hex. This little robot reduces enemies defense by 10% and restores 8% of the party members HP every 5 seconds so it heals and debuffs at the same time. Once you reach your 4 job it buffs your own party members final damage by 10% as well. Mechanics can both heal, buff and debuff with their support unit summon which makes this a very powerful support skill. Mechanics can also place down portals that party members can use to teleport around and if your party members are you know annoying you or they're flaming you because you picked a mechanic just to wait for them to take the teleport and then turn off their ability to use the portals so they're stuck in a sticky situation that will teach them. Upping things up even more the next classes are I think more of a supportive hybrid classes like they are, so they're a bit more supportive than everyone else but they're also a bit more damage orientated like for example Battle Mage. This class has a lot of supportive tools in their kits. Their auras have different effects like healing party members, debuffing monsters, increasing attack speed and damage of party members depending on which aura is active. Or all of them if your fifth job aura side is active. With their blue aura hyper skill passive they can even clear statuses of every party member every 5 seconds and increase final damage by 10% with their weakening aura hyper passive skill. Battle Mages also have a party shield that can be placed down to reduce damage by 10% of percentage HP attacks of all party members who are in sight. Battle Mages are a bit of a hybrid class with more supportive skill options than the previous classes mentioned, but still not really a true supportive class. By the way, speaking of shields, if you also want to provide an itsy bitsy bit of support, Shadowers have a similar shield skill with their smokescreen. Another similar class is Kana, who is a summoner with the most powerful early game supportive skill in the game, Spirit's Domain. Once charged, Kana and all her party members gain final damage, abnormal status resistance and recover HP and MP every now and then. Plus once fully charged all party members gain two stages of attack speed which is pretty crazy. This skill is a single reason why Kanas are so popular in bossing parties and why clearing bosses without a Kana is considered more of an achievement at times. This skill is just that powerful. But Kana actually has more up her sleeve. She can, similar to the Battle Mage, create barriers. These barriers can either reduce incoming damage and increase status resistance or increase damage by 20% and boss damage by 5%. And Kana, her falling Sakura tree, can also heal herself and her party members for their full HP. Kana also has two binds and one of which lasts slightly longer than any other bind in the game. So when it comes to binding bosses, Kana will have an additional edge compared to other classes. Another hybrid support class is the Beast Tamer. This time limited class commands various animals. Her hawk mode has various supportive buffs that increase attack and magic attack by a flat amount. She can boost party members their critical rate by 15% with her bird's eye view and give a good old movement speed and jump buff similar to haste. When she is with her cat companion though, beast tamers gain a ton of passive to party skills that only work when you're nearby party members. A bit like holy symbol from bishop. Think about things like attack and magic attack increase, flat HP and MP, item drop rate, critical chance and critical damage and even a 30% EXP increase. Making this a great class to just have standing next to you when you're grinding. 
She also has an attack that heals, she can revive, remove statuses and apply a debuff to all monsters stuck in her Cat Cradle Blitzkrieg, increasing final damage by 20% against all enemies hit by this skill. These tamers can also put out the damage with their Bear, Leopard and Bird stance, but they can also switch to a more supportive playstyle when they're bossing. And finally, I also want to mention Lara. With her special supportive veins, she can increase attack speed, jump and movement speed with her Wind Vein. Her Sunlight Support Vein increases damage and heals party members every 2 seconds. And her Hyper Skill Arbor Away also debuffs enemy monsters that are in the zone, reducing their defense. So even Lara has a few more supportive options, but isn't really a true supportive class. So we've gone over a few classes that have some debuff tools, but there's one king of debuffing, and that is Shade. If you want to offer support to your party member by debuffing monsters instead of buffing up your party members, then Shade is probably the class with the most party debuffs. Shade's passive weakened skill has a chance to debuff an enemy, increasing all damage against that enemy by 20% and reducing the accuracy and avoidability of that monster. But Shade's biggest value in boss fights is his soul splitter skill. The skill pushes the soul out of a monster and allows your party members to attack that soul as well with 80% less final damage. Stationary monsters just take 20% more final damage, but this is a very powerful debuff skill that is a welcome sight in any bossing party. There also is a special segment of classes that can provide shields and invincibility to party members. For example, Ilium's hyper skill Crystalline Bulwark can provide a short invincibility frame for the entire party. But if you want to protect only one person, then you can check out the Paladin. This class can share that 30 second invincibility frame with one party member after linking up to that person. Paladins can also use their Parashock Guard to reduce the damage of normal attacks by 20% on party members. And this skill gives party members a 20% chance to guard attacks, which can come in clutch. Paladins can also revive downed party members and their Noble Demand skill debuffs monsters, lowering their attack, defense and accuracy by a massive 50%. And to top things off, their combat order skill boosts all party members their skill levels by two except for hyper skills, 50 up skills, beginner skills, yada yada yada. Being able to go over the max level, this can be a massive boost to the party members damage who aren't using the 50 up version of combat orders. Paladin has a lot of tools in their arsenal to help party members, but hey, that's to be expected of the best class. If you want to be a more traditional supportive tank, then maybe check out Mihil. Mihil has a souling skill and that's a toggle and when active, Mihil will start receiving 20% of the damage that was done to party members, which can then be nullified with his royal guard skill that blocks all damage. If Mihil successfully guards, his party members also get buffed, increasing their attack and magic attack, abnormal status resistance and defense. But most of Mihil's party support comes from his fifth job skills. His shield of light lasts for 25 seconds and reduces incoming damage by 86% at max level. That includes percentage HP attack, so if you get one shot, you actually just take 14% damage. The shield has three layers, which can defend against 30 attacks in total. You literally cannot die with a good Mihil in your party. But wait, there is more. The Light of Courage skill forms a shield around all party members based on the total max HP of your party, making everyone a beefy boy. And their hyper skill attack leaves a debuff that increases damage of all party members by 10% against the debuffed monster. So Mihil is also very supportive, very tanky. He cannot die and he'll make sure that you cannot die either. And then there's also one and a half class left that are actually the true supports. The creme de la creme of support, the explorer Bishop. Heals, buffs, removing debuffs, you name it. This class has it all. This class takes support in Maple Story to the extreme and just has all the things. From regular heals to creating healing fountains that can be used by party members to heal, bishops have a similar skill to Domain as well from Kana. The skill is called Benediction and it also increases final damage, recovers HP and MP and increases attack speed for all party members who are inside your zone. But unlike Kana who just gets most of the effects right away, bishops Benediction skills with the stats the bishop has, the amount of int. So in the beginning it will be worse than domain, but even stronger when a bishop has more funding. Bishops can also debuff monsters with their Angelic Wrath and Angel Ray skill, increasing the final damage of party members and reducing enemy defense. They can also cast a shell that protects against some attacks, their Heaven's Door skill can block out one death, and they have a party revive, reviving all party members who are uh, down for it. Bishops has all the heals, buffs and more, making this the true goaded support class of Maple Story. And then there is the half class I was talking about, also uh, Phantom. This class can steal some of the supportive skills that Bishop and other explorers have, making it somewhat of a supportive class as well if you want to. Their Fidjob skill Lock of the Draw can also buff party members, so it's not really a true support class, but you can at least pretend to be one. And there are all support classes in the game that I could think of. Do you feel like I missed something or is there any important insights that you want to share? Let everyone know in the comments. And that was all for today. As always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible.
Thanks to Niels de Konek, Ramawaar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varese, Cody Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safron X, Ziggy Deer, Flidiet, Knife Sue, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Justin Veil, Silvio Nato, Afterlord and the Score MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Radical Jaws, Riser Aryu, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conrad Cristalis, Ace Light, Mr. Anark, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priscilla, Brennan Cam, Vake Botnet, Feko, Victor Sundstrom, Simak Only, Rashid Alarmudi, Gerlando Balavia, Gianfranco Calderon Canavero, Lucky Beats, Martinho Dev, Gummy Bullet, and Lord Vazil. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!